Mr. Chief Justice, and may it please the court. Ms. Keating has pulled a bait and switch on this court. The minute she made race the determining factor, she took it out of the purview of this court. Go tribe. to the library and look up this ruling. Okay. Kayla, lose without it. Race, but on the expertise of the individual attorney. In Washington v. David, your predecessors decided that even if a law has a discriminatory effect, it is unconstitutional you if that's not its intended purpose. If that is the precedent that Ms. Keating wants to challenge, then that case needed to be built and argued in the state appellate courts. Brian v. Topeka. Topeka means Kansas, which means it has to be in the 10th Circuit. So I'll start with the indexes from 82, you start with 87, and we meet somewhere in the middle. Why are you looking at me like that? Your brain. It's hot. Focus. Washington v. Davis was decided on a technical issue of the lower courts for not applying appropriate legal standards. While Ms. Keating's statistics make it clear that our judicial system should be reformed, that is not the duty of this court today. Ms. Keating, we'll now hear your rebuttal arguments. As an arbiter of the law with whole knowledge of historical jurisprudence in this country, race must always be considered a variable. You have precious time, Miss Keating. I suggest that you don't waste it by making arguments you've already made. These are not my words, Justice Strickland. They're yours. You wrote them in your 1985 ruling in Bryant v. Topeka, an equal protection case dealing with a state housing lottery program. Racism is built into the DNA of America. And as long as we turn a blind eye to the pain of those suffering under its oppression, we will never escape those origins. The only safeguard people of color have is the right to a defense, and we won't even give them that. Which means that the promise of civil rights has never been fulfilled. Due to the failure of our justice system, our public defense system in particular, Jim Crow is alive and kicking. Laws that made it illegal for blacks and whites to be buried in the same cemetery. They categorize people into quadroons and octoroons. They punish a black person for seeking medical attention in a white hospital. Some may claim that slavery has ended. But tell that to the inmates who are kept in cages and told that they don't have any rights at all. People like my client Nathaniel Leahy and millions of people like him who are relegated to a subclass of human existence in our prisons. There is no alternative to justice in this case. There is no other option. To decide against my plaintiff is to choose lining the pockets of prison owners over providing basic defense for the people who live in them. And is that the America that this court really wants to live in? Where money is more important than humanity? Where criminality is confused with mental health? The Sixth Amendment was ratified in 1791. It's been 226 years since then. Let's finally guarantee its rights to all of our citizens. some of the more moderate justices. Trying to predict what the court will decide is a fool's errand. Ms. Keating, what is your response to critics who say you are attacking public defenders? Tell them to see me when they get more time and money to argue their cases. She did catch Justice Strickland in direct contradiction of his previous rule. Justices are allowed to evolve in their thinking. In fact, I think that's called wisdom. Next question. Do you think you won in there? Well, win or lose, I'd like to give a shout out to my team, and that includes my named plaintiff, Nathaniel Leahy. I hope that this is a first step in getting him the fair and proper defense that he never received during his 33 years in jail.